I have been in the business for about 50 years. I, I have some experience to, to tell about. In the early 70s, as physicist, I was employed to build a computer model of the most northern part of the Baltic Sea. I had to travel around for three winters, collect data, and of course, I shared part of that data with the responsible agency. When I asked the responsible agency to get some sea ice data back for my work, I got it, but I got a bill and had to pay for the data. There is only one Earth, with only one history, and we get only one chance to record it. Ideas not followed through can be taken up again later. A record not made is gone for good. Observations are the basic truth in anything you are doing when you create knowledge. Ocean observation, it will help us to solve the big challenges we have in front of us in terms of climate, in terms of food that we need in the future. Observations are in fact the basis for gaining marine knowledge. They are instrumental for research and for monitoring, for predicting and managing the marine environment, but also for supporting offshore energy and other socio-economic activities at sea. The only way that you can find out what's going to go happen in the future is to look at what's happened in the past. For centuries, we have observed the ocean, trying to understand and predict its behavior so that we can harness its power and riches. In order to manage anything, you really need to be able to understand it. And in order to understand something, you really need data. Tremendous sort of number of observations going on, but how to get at them, how to use them. It was very difficult to get these data. They were held by hundreds of different organizations. Uh, there was no central catalogue telling you where all these data were. So many of it being repeated over and over again. A great waste of resources and money, data being lost. The marine data landscape was very diverse, very dislocated, scattered, dispersed, very energised, but there was no cohesion really between the sources of data, the repositories of data and the access to data. And that was a, a big problem. Uh, a lot of the, the collected data was not available for reuse to others. A real need to make sure that the in-situ data was archived was made available, could be used. Let's start in the 90s. There was already a marine science and technology program funded through the EU research programs. At that time, we really tried already, in, this was in the 90s, to make uh, marine data accessible and uh, interoperational. Especially the Marine Science and Technology Program, the third framework program, they laid the basis for this. And that means that we developed already a lot of standards in Europe because we have so many countries in Europe. And this way we created those standards and adopted those standards to overcome the, the differences between the nations. We realized rather early that, that to, to be successful, we had a few specific challenges. And it was data policies, suitable technology and dedicated funding. The persons on the European Marine Board and on Eurogoos realised that there needed to be much enhanced cohesion about this delivery of uh, marine data and the associated information. So the two communities came together and established a working group which produced the position paper on what eModnet could do for Europe. And that's why the Commission, understanding the importance of having access to high quality data by our engineers, our scientists, our managers, that it was a huge opportunity to convert the fragmented marine data landscape into an interoperable data sharing framework. The Marine Knowledge 2020 was basically uh, the, the strategy that led to eModnet. When we started to work with eModnet, the word we used was measure once, multiple use. In the early days of eModnet, we were very pioneering because uh, there were already existing networks in Europe and we thought if we can mobilize those networks and make use of their existing infrastructures, then we can accelerate very fast. After a decade of development, eModnet has evolved and now connects more than 120 organizations who work together to make harmonized marine data and products free for all.
Inbotnet has been responsible for phenomenal change. It has provided the structures, the frameworks, the momentum for individuals and organisations and funding agencies to come together and allow cooperation and access on a long-term basis. Now anyone from almost anywhere in the world with their laptops can find and retrieve uh, Inbotnet data. This can achieve economy of scales for marine scientists, for marine policy makers and of course for the blue economy. And an enormous boost to innovation. Marine data and data in general, I think, can be considered as the new gold because they're very important for society. And we are very proud that Emodnet adheres fully to the FAIR principles. FAIR standing for findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable data. While findable and accessible is quite easy to organise by project funding, one important aspect being the reusability of system implies that you collect all that data in bigger systems. And that's what the sustainable funding from Emotnet has been able to achieve. Sharing data and making data, you know, accessible and findable and interoperable is not that easy. And Emotnet has made this more seamless. Emotnet uh, was successful in creating trust among the European data centers. We see it as a stable and long durable platform. The main achievement of Emotnet, I think, over the past 10 years is that uh, the data sharing attitude in our community, the marine and maritime community in Europe, has uh, seen a quantum leap. The European Union and Emotnet provide the most advanced data management of marine data in the world, and that should really be promoted. Emotnet is a vital platform for interacting with marine user communities about data and data products. A way to get into contact with our users, to learn more about their requirements and see how we can fulfill that. And also more interaction with Copernicus, the CMEMS service. Copernicus is an operational public service and so for that we commit the quality of our products for our users. And having Emonet as a key partner, then we have something which is much stronger, much higher quality to provide these public services. We use eModnet as a base reference surface to be able to plan our expeditions. We use it because it's centralized, it's easy to use, it's publicly facing. Um, all of those things are really important. The more data we have, the more effective our modeling capabilities are, the more accurate our answers are, the happier our clients are. If we want really to be successful, we need knowledge and for this we need data. Emonet it's really a tool which at the end reduces the risk of all investments that are needed linked to the ocean. So it's supporting our future development, one that we like to be of course the, the most sustainable possible and uh, we need to continue Emonet and to take it to the next level. In Europe, we have now a great chance ahead of us, which is uh, the Horizon Europe planned mission. One of the planned activities is to come up with a twin for the ocean, which is based on making knowledge much more accessible. And we hope that Emotnet is also going to play a key part in all the achievements for this. So from 2021, there will be the Ocean Decade and Emotnet is well placed to contribute to this. Um, as we will need a transparent and accessible ocean, which involves the open sharing and open accessibility to data. We should uh, keep on continuing uh, creating awareness about the added value of Imodnet and how Imodnet can support, uh, in particular, the grand challenges or, for example, the sustainable development goals. There's a real need for having data, um, not just in European waters, but expanding out to the whole Atlantic and the global oceans to be able to address these international policy goals. There is a place for more cooperation among the member states and also to build something valuable at international level. And Emotnet, the knowledge, could be the base of this. Emotnet is not only about connecting data systems, databases and repositories. It's in the first instance, really, foremost, it's a network of people. It's bringing together people from different countries, from different disciplines, that come together to exchange knowledge, ideas, best practices, that learn from each other. And it has been tremendously rewarding. It's really working together that really makes things work.
eModnet is the essence of cooperation. It's partnership. Marine knowledge. Indispensable. It's exciting. It's dynamic. Sustainability. Marine data for all. Connector. Game changer. Useful information. Rewarding. Exemplar. It was a dream that came, came through. eModnet, your global gateway to marine data, curating the past, capturing the present, charting the future.